and I am true to God. It's important to understand what Geoffrey Leonard is capable of. He lured two brothers, 16 and 13, into his home and his hands. He showered them with gifts and money and even sent them love letters which are too sick to read out to you. The same goes for their police statements. They were systematically sexually abused beyond belief. I have not, 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 not! Mate, I'm not a 13-year-old boy, okay? Yeah, All right. Yeah, shit out. You're not going to intimidate me, Geoffrey. Yeah, shit out. Would you like to say sorry? No. You're not sorry for what you did? I'm not sorry for what I did. The man is clearly a problem for Penny Johnson and her lobby group Bravehearts campaign on behalf of victims. It, it's absolutely unfair that the perpetrator of the crime, a vicious crime, a destructive crime, has all this freedom to live where he wants to, to live and to move around wherever he wants to move around, whilst the victims have been forced to spread out across the country to simply get away from him. One of the victims has moved to Western Australia to get as far away as he can. Sure, Geoffrey Leonard has served a lengthy prison term, but his victims got a life sentence. For the rest of their lives, Geoffrey, they'll be thinking about that animal who stole their innocence. Not about the last time you had sex with anybody. That was an evil occasion, wasn't it? There was no, no consent there, was there? What are you saying, Geoffrey? You are saying that you too are a raper. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're Do you a... think those young boys enjoyed it when you abused them yes, as young I boys? No, they... Because Geoffrey Leonard was convicted before the sex offenders register was set up, he doesn't appear on it. The legislation wasn't made retrospective, so many of his neighbours have no way of finding out about his record. We thought he was just a quiet old guy, but I think it should be like concerning for the because there's a lot of lot of kids that live around here. But it's not just the school children who walk past his home that are in reach of Geoffrey Leonard. He's written more than a dozen books. These books you've written, are they about molesting young boys? They're about all sorts of things. Are they about molesting young boys, Geoffrey? They're about molesting young boys. They're about molesting young boys. How to do it. <sighs> And you'll never guess where you'll find one of his grubby publications, two of the most renowned libraries in Australia, the National Library in Canberra and the State Library of New South Wales. I'm a writer. What I do is I'm an advocate. Writer, pedophile, yes. child molester, yes. grub. Grub. All right, grub. <coughs> He's clearly a very disturbed man. The fact that he has written books and they've been taken seriously is frightening. The books and their author have a common cause. Ever since he left prison, Geoffrey Leonard has dedicated his life to overturning child sex laws which protect the innocent. Is five years old too young? I don't believe there should be any age. Would most Australians want their children living next door to a pedophile who is not sorry for his actions? Who thinks it's acceptable to have sex with a five-year-old, a ten-year-old? That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes. All right, now to a soldier's story. 21-year-old Tim Willis fled from Army barracks in Darwin.